back on. What is up y'all? We're starting this video yet again out here on the beach. It just started spitting. I'm getting used to this water stuff like it just randomly rains. Today we are going to be exploring some new area. I have never been over here before in my life. We're going to be doing some walking. We're going to be doing some casting and also we are going to be doing some experimenting. So if you guys have seen the videos, I went out to a beach, right? Just to do some exploring. I threw a spoon and we caught a flounder. So I was like, all right, let's go back here. Let's fish with some gulp. And we caught some more flounder. And then I was like, okay, let's try some different rigs with some minnows and stuff. We caught a bunch of different fish because of flounder. Today though, we're trying something different. You guys actually suggested this. So this right here is a bucktail. Up north in Delaware, and I know like even more north than Delaware, a lot of people use these bucktails for a bunch of different stuff, striped bass, really like any fish that swims up there. They love their bucktails, but I know it is a big rig for flounder. Like a lot of people use it. So we are gonna attempt to use this today. I might put a gulp on the back and we might cast this around. Just, just explore, just wanna have some fun and try to catch some fish on that. See if they'll eat it down here, down south. I don't, if you guys are down here, a lot of people fish with this. Here in the bag though, we have something else. I saw a video a long, 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 long time ago and I've heard rumblings of people on the internet, right? They're like, hey man, bacon catches fish. Apparently, this maybe possibly could be a really good flounder bait. I don't know. We are going to put that to the test today as well. But yeah, we got the stuff out here. It's raining, but it is a beautiful freaking day. Maybe we'll find some shark teeth on this beach. I don't know. We're going to do a lot of walking. Not going to waste any time here. Let's get started, man. All right. So at first, this is just what we are going to do. They said that this is a mullet color on the packaging of this. Should we mull it around? Maybe that'll be good. We're going to put on the back a little four inch swimming mullet. That looks pretty good. Kind of ish right it's a little bit big of a presentation i've come to learn though if there are flounder around they can kind of open up their mouths like super wide and they're just aggressive fish especially if they're hungry i'm gonna just take a cast right here i don't it's look kind of rocky but there we go so this is a 3 8 ounce i also picked up a little bit bigger one that might cast a little bit better i think it was like three quarter ounce so bounce this here around a little bit and again we're just going to be doing a lot of walking and exploring because when you're fishing new spots sometimes there's just a lot of stuff to look at and fish and it's, it's hard to know where they would be so something to keep an eye on today is that the tide is uh still going out and it's almost kind of getting to that like low low spot so in a few hours it'll be low low oh my lordy lord Look at that tooth. <laughs> that is a big honking tooth. I didn't even think that I'd find them here. What? All right, well, we'll keep an eye out for sure. Dang, dude. That is a tooth if I ever seen one. I'm in tooth town right now. All right, give me a sec. <laughs> Pause. All right, that's distracting. If y'all haven't heard, basically with all these shark teeth I've been finding, if you guys haven't been watching the videos, I've been finding a lot. Like, we have a lot of teeth. But I want to get them all together eventually and do like a whole big epoxy table so you'll see just all the shark teeth and it'll be one freaking table. It'd be the coolest table ever. Oh my gosh. Someone just moved right there. It's kind of rocky here. I'm kind of worried about getting hung up. And also, I, I am worried a little bit about that tide because once it goes like too low, low, I haven't really had much luck. So we're going to kind of move quickly here and get to some good looking stuff if nothing's really happening on this beach we're just gonna send it and no oh it's right there though See, this is the issue with having a boot it's like right there we gotta walk it this way maybe normally i would just go in the water okay <sighs> we're gonna get away from the rocks I only have one this size. I think this is the perfect size. We're on this like oysters right here. I bet you if we flip these over, we could find a bunch of crabs and stuff. We're gonna get out of here. This is like sharp. All I need is my toe out of my boot and freaking touch one of those oysters. This is a dangerous place, man. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's walk a little bit away from this stuff. The rocks have spoken. All right, how about here? Please, no snags. I don't know if I explained my thought process here very well, but basically we're gonna use this, which I have a lot more confidence in, right? 
we're gonna see if we can find any like areas where flounder are hanging out. I think that's gonna be our best bet, like kind of finding the fish. Cause I, I just don't know how I feel about the bacon. I think it could work. It's just like, I don't, it's, it's bacon. I don't know, if we could find them though, and we kind of put it on their head, then maybe we can get a better chance instead of just tossing bacon around the whole freaking everywhere. More rocks up here, no thank you. If we had more jigs, I would gladly fish near the rocks. I just, maybe later. Oh, this is crazy current. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. It kind of swirls. There's gotta be some fish right here. One thing I've kind of learned, especially flounder fishing, I mean, you should really do it when you're fishing for anything, but you gotta work that thing all the way back to the bank because I've honestly got bit like right freaking there. I'll be honest with y'all, I haven't used bucktails much. I've used them a little bit for striped bass. If you guys remember those videos in the RV? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not a tooth. Get out of here. Hey, yeah, those videos when we were up in like Massachusetts and Maine and stuff, we were striper fishing. I barely used bucktails. We have used a lot of hair jigs though, which are pretty similar, especially for like trout. I caught my personal best ever trout in Delaware on a little marabou hair jig. So it's similar, it's just like a kind of like a smaller size, I guess. But I know these things catch all sorts of stuff. And I, if you guys haven't seen it, on a similar sort of hair jig, I caught, oh, a bunch of bait right there. I caught a PB walleye. The first time I ever went out walleye fishing, it's actually crazy. It was like a gigantic, it was like 28 and three quarter or something inch walleye. I'll leave that video down in the description below. So we've caught a lot of fish on artificial lures that involve hair. Let's see if we can do it down here. All right, enough of that. Today we focus on today. You cannot focus on the present if you are not in the present. And I, I got a present for these freaking flounder, man. Wait till they get a scent of this bacon. All right, let's go with this. I'm not getting really any bites. How's it going? Good. Any luck? Yeah. It's better than nothing. I'll run against nothing. all back. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me know. What do y'all think? Would you rather catch some small ones? Or would you rather catch nothing? I think I'd rather catch some small ones. Not yet. How about you? Catfish and keep getting my bait stung. All right. We are here another day. You guys can probably hear it is windy as heck. There we go. So we're gonna start off with this bucktail. Again, we're gonna try to catch fish with the bucktail, but today, the tide is different. Let's get some casts around here. So we're gonna kind of pop around, maybe hit some new spots. Basically, I just wanna find the fish. Hopefully, if we can, it's a little bit windy. But we can find them with this rig and maybe the gulp. Maybe we'll have an idea if they're even around and if we can catch some with the bacon. We got some more bacon here. This water looks pretty good for it being this churned up. It's high tide, it's about to start going out. It's a lot of people fishing though. Let's see if we can get anything to happen.
Oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. Got one. Oh, what is that? I got something. What was that one? Yes, 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 yes. Freak yeah, dude. Oh, let's go. I just met some of y'all. Super cool people. Oh my gosh. That is such a good feeling, man. All right, chill, 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 chill. All right, boom. First fish of the day, beautiful flounder. Look at those teeth, man. That was on the gulp. Whew, all right, let's let you go. Yeah. There he goes, nice pancake. That is a good feeling. I just talked to some of you guys down there. They said that they just caught a nice flatty. They might be here today. The other day, I, I was talking to people, there were people fishing, but absolutely nobody was catching anything. So that is the first official flounder we have caught down in Florida on a bucktail. Cool, so this is exactly what we're using. I'm gonna go get my bag. I'm just gonna keep walking around here because the thing is, the tide is high right now, so that's good because these are super shallow flats. So when it gets too shallow, I've just found that there's not really... Actually, I'm gonna mark this. I can come back and fish here later. X marks the spot. My freaking bacon's down here. But yeah, everybody's got like the good spots. Oh, I guess I'll fish my way back. All the jetty spots are taken. All like the good juicy looking fish spots. We're just out here in the middle of nowhere. Got a little heavy, boom. That's a good feeling, dude. Especially since last time, you know, you just never want to get skunked. And even like the last time we bass fished, we didn't really have too much luck. So hopefully we can get it going here. I'm gonna try, I'm just, we're gonna be a little crazy, man. I'm gonna go get this bacon. All right. Oh my gosh. Come on, bacon, do something for me. All right, how am I gonna open this? Let's pop off the bait we got bit on, because that's just a, that's a great idea, right? <laughs> and boom, <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. It looks good. All right, bacon time, baby. It's definitely a little windy, man. My bacon fell off. I just got a flounder down there. Come on, bacon. You could do it. They're here. It's weird. Sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. He's like not that far away from me. He's brought the bacon back to the area. My X marks the spot over here where we just got hit. Go on, man. This will make my this will make my month if I catch a freaking flounder. Also bacon. Why wouldn't they want to eat this? And everybody else, including that guy who just caught one down there and the guy I talked to earlier, uh, everybody's using mud minnows, which is like legit super candy bait. Like I just love those things, especially with this water clarity. Like that's for sure. The bait to be using.
Got a fish, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. On the bacon. I'm not even joking. On the bacon. What is that? Oh my god. He ate the freaking bacon. He ate the bacon. He ate the bacon. Fish ate the freaking bacon. Hold on. No Houdini stuff. Show me the bacon still on there. We gotta show the people. Alright. Chill out. Alright. Side of the mouth. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see the bacon? Oh, he chewed off the very tip of it. Look at that, dude. I understand, like, yeah, it's a bucktail, and that's sort of like a lure in itself. But the bacon. He ate the freaking bacon. Get out of here. That one's too small. Oh, on the bacon. That is so sick. Oh, I hooked myself. I think I can bring my bacon down this way real quick. Oh, if you guys could hit the thumbs up, that was freaking crazy. But yeah, guy earlier, he like, I was, I mean, I can't hear anything. The wind's in my ears. He was yelling at me to give him my flounder. I didn't even hear him. Might have been the keeper, might not have that first one. Second one, definitely not, but freaking bacon. Ugh. Well, that's freaking sick, man. People like bacon. I guess flounder like their bacon too. For whatever reason, they seem to be like over here. I will say though, it's definitely not the most secure. Like you might go through a little bit of, a little bit of bacon. It was four or five dollars for the pack, which really, realistically, I mean, I bought a pack of gulp the other day, and I think I paid like ten dollars. That's kind of like that tackle store gulp price, but still, like, you know, four ninety nine for a whole pack of bacon. And if you don't even use it all, you can take it home. Eat the rest of your bait. Let me know if you guys ever tried this. I mean, I'm telling you, I've heard people use it before. I just, I don't know. Can't believe it. It's just cool. Let's see if we get anybody else to bite here. Whew. If you're wondering, I don't think I said this. I might have said this. This is a 3 8 ounce bucktail. Oh, someone just splashed over there to my right. There's fish here. For some reason, they're like right here. I guess maybe the tide's ripping around that jetty right there. Maybe it's kind of making a little hot spot over here. I don't know. How many fish can we catch on the bacon now? That's the question. I like this a lot when they're, oh my gosh. Dude, those are huge waves. I think that boat just made them. I should probably step back a little bit. Look at these waves. Sheesh. That'll bring some good shark teeth up for sure. Ah. But yeah, I really like fishing these spots because like they could just be anywhere and everywhere and like you don't need a certain spot, you know? Oh, I thought I just saw a tooth. Is that a tooth? That is not a tooth.
Hello. What do we got here? Boom. Little one. Baby. Cool. Whee ya. Whew. Just splashed me all around. It is so windy. That dude hit this hard too. I wasn't getting hit on the bacon. I'm getting surrounded by seagulls. This little guy. This is the reality of boot life. This is my boot brush. All right, we got the AC blasting. It is hot out here. What do you guys say, dude? Anything today? Not too much. Ooh, what the heck was that? Again, appreciate all you guys for all the freaking support. See y'all next video.